Hello everybody, this is EB the user Poop Master here with another video game review and I've decided what my next video game review should be. Today I'll be reviewing Spongebob Squarepants Atlanta Squarepants for the Nintendo DS released in 2007. Now before I get any further through this game, I actually do have this game and let me tell you guys how terrible this game is. I mean I've played the game because I own it and boy does this game look terrible. As you guys can know in my walkthroughs, I mean not my walkthroughs, in my video game reviews, I do not show gameplay footage of the game. I just sit here and tell you guys what the game is about. The reason why I don't do gameplay footage for the reviews is because I am not going to steal from others. And I am not going to sit there showing, filming you guys my gameplay footage of the game. Because I think that will take too long and I think that's just a waste of time in my book. So I'm going to sit here and review this game. So Spongebob Squarepants, Atlanta Squarepants for the Nintendo DS is a very, like, one of the worst Nintendo DS games I actually owned. The only DS game I have now is New Super Mario Brothers. Only other DS games somehow gotten lost or something. So anyways, yeah. That's the only good Nintendo DS game I have right now is New Super Mario Bros. I like Mario Kart DS and Super Mario 64 DS. I lost Super Mario 64 DS. I'm very mad. It was a really fun game. So if you guys don't know, this game is based off of the SpongeBob SquarePants Truth or Square. I mean, God. I mean, see, look, you see, I'm already screwing up the title. Jesus. Again, I'm sorry for the mis for the mistakes. This game is based off of the Atlanta Square Panthers television special that aired in 2007 where Spongebob and his friends went to Atlantis to visit their favorite things. And we all know that episode was god-awful. I mean, the episode was just god-awful. I mean, the singing was terrible. The lyrics were, were bad. I mean, the whole game and special was terrible. I would, I would give that episode a 1.5 stars out of 10. Very bad episode. So they made a game based off of the special. So the game starts out as Spongebob and Patrick, right? They're in, they're like um, in Jellyfish Fields, and then they want to blow the, the world's longest bubble. So if you guys haven't seen the special, I mean, everyone should have seen this episode. They went into to the bubble, and then they went inside of a cave, like in the television special. And then they popped, they went to like this, they, they popped into an ancient fragment. And so Spongebob and Patrick needs to adventure their way in the cave to find these 10 magic Atlantis pieces. This is where the level design becomes a real cringeworthy because THQ, the people who made this game, sucks at making levels. I mean, Spongebob and Squarepants, Atlantis Squarepants got some of the most bland level designs I've ever encountered that I've of any video game that I played. So, trust me, the level designs are terrible. They, they put no effort into the level designs at this all. Basically, the level design is boring, bland platforming, just walking, jumping over pits. This game requires a partner system. You put one player is SpongeBob, or you can switch it to Patrick as a partner character or whatnot. But other than that, the game is just terrible. I swear. You, yeah, so yeah, you have to collect these 10 ancient fragment pieces. And then you do like these special attack moves or combos and whatnot. Yeah, man, the gameplay is terrible. And then so moving on to the cooperativity of this game. So if you have a partner with you, right? You think you think that your partner is gonna help you out, like like help punch enemies with you? No, that's not the case. THQ programmed the computer players for them not to help you while you're defeating enemies. So while you're playing a SpongeBob, for example, just beating up jellyfishes, you got your partner Patrick just standing there not helping you out. I mean, seriously, why did the THQ program these freaking partner characters to cooperate with you? I mean, isn't this supposed to be a cooperativity game? Like, I mean, seriously, Lego Indiana Jones The Adventure Continues 2 was a perfect example of a good cooperativity game because the players the partner actually fights along with the player, making the job done easier. But no, in this piece of filth of a game, you got Patrick back here just standing there not helping me. Dude, are you going to help me or not? I'm being attacked by a jellyfish. You're just standing there biting your finger. Stop it, Patrick. Stop. Go act dumb somewhere else. Jesus Christ, I hate this game so much. I don't, I don't, I don't even know why I picked up this game back in 27, back in 2007. And then along the way you unlock other characters like Mr. Krabs and Sandy and then Squidward is an unlockable character if you beat the game. I can't beat this game because the third world Atlantis is hard as heck. Here I'm trying to escape with some fat guy come out of nowhere trying to punch me off the screen. I mean, if, if you touch any of the security lights you end up getting punched. Each character has a special ability as you guys noticed from the game. SpongeBob got this pointless bubble line that doesn't do anything. All he does is blow bubbles with it. He doesn't... 
hit enemies with it. He doesn't try to smack enemies with it. He just blows bubbles with it. Seriously, THQ? You give him a weapon like that. He also inflates like a hot air balloon if one of the partner characters grab him and try to inflate him. Patrick, he can does he do, he does a ground pound, so I'm gonna demonstrate what he does. So instead of jumping and pounding the ground just like Mario, he starts wailing his little arms in the air for some crap. Then he does a ground pound attack. Dude, you don't have to wail your freaking arms when you have to do it when you do a ground pound. Just jump and just smack your little butt talks on the hard floor of concrete. That's where Mario, he does the ground pound just right away. He doesn't wail his little arms saying, Oh, I'm about to do a ground pound. Yeah, he doesn't do that in the game. Sandy, she, she like she chops giant blocks and whatnot, and then she does a stupid body slam attack that causes like an earthquake. Sandy, you're not that huge. Why can't? Why seriously? Sandy's about like this tall, and then she does a, a powerful earthquake. I mean, seriously, you're not a sumo wrestler. You're just a weak. You're just a weak, skinny squirrel in a spacesuit running around doing karate and stuff. You, there's no way you can do it. You can cause an earthquake when you do a body slam because you ain't overweight. Mr. Krabs, he digs for money, and he opens up treasure chests in the game. So you collect melody shells. So the melody shells are the currency for SpongeBob SquarePants and Lance SquarePants on the DS. There's also the Wii version and the PS2 version, but I'm only reviewing the DS version because that's the only version I have. I think the other versions are the exact same, but are on a different console. So yeah, there are three worlds in this game. Bikini Bottom... This weird moo continent place or some crap, and Atlantis, the third and final world. So in Bikini Bottom, you do the cave level, and then um, you go to Bikini. They have to play these mini games. The mini games are god awful. This is one mini game where you have to shoot these jelly ghosts. Like Patrick is driving in a car, it's like he's driving in a car, and they got swung up on the freaking boat. I mean, why is Patrick driving? Why did Patrick ever got his license? Oh yeah, remember that episode where Patrick got that license, and then his horn. Play La Cucaracha. Yeah, that horn. Yeah. So yeah, that was that episode was pretty stupid. Anyways, um, yeah, you play mini games along the way. The mini games are god off. I swear, the Mario Party mini games are ten times better than the Nickelodeon crap. I hate the mini games in SpongeBob SquarePants and Lion SquarePants. They're bad. They're not fun. And ugh, this terrible game. And then there's also another mini game where you have to. Tap on these character icons while Squidward plays on his clarinet. That's like a really easy mini game. I mean, you got all the characters dancing like amateurs, and you got Squirt just doing this. I mean, dude, you can't play your freaking clarinet in a proper way. Just, just stay in that one position and just hit the nose. Don't rock yourself back and forth playing clarinet like you're having a seizure, Squidward. Calm yourself down, dude. There's no need to have a seizure. And then. This Moo Continent place, you gotta, there, this, the, ah, stuttering again. This world is broken down into two stages, a lava stage and an ice stage. The lava stage got bland level designs. I mean, seriously, your partner character, Krabs, Patrick, or Sandy, whoever partner character you're playing as, like I said, they don't do nothing. The enemies in this game are weird. You got tanks. You got those. You got jellyfishes as enemies. The boss battles are uncreative. I swear, there's one boss battle in the game. Are these gears? Yes, gears, gears like little those little devices that that make stuff goes. One of the bosses in this game are literally gears. That is not a boss battle. Oh my God, THQ, can you be that stupid? Nintendo can make better bosses than you. I mean, wow, T T wow, I cannot stand this game, man. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and all end up ending off this review. SpongeBob SquarePants. Atlanta Square Pants on the Nintendo DS. This game gets a solid 1.5 stars out of 10. Bland level designs, terrible music, the graphics are god awful on the DS version. I mean, this is like the worst game I've ever played, man. And, and if you go to Squidward's house, there's two options. There's like a there's a music box where you can listen to the game soundtrack, which is god awful. And then you can also look at all the pictures during the cutscenes. The cutscenes are just these t are just these text boxes, while in other Spongebob games, Tom Kenny, Roger Bumpus, the actual characters from the TV show, actually sits down and record the characters' voices in some of the video games, like Battle for Bikini Bottom and the Spongebob Squarepants movie, the video game. I swear, Spongebob ain't got no original video games. All the games that they make for Spongebob is basically bootleg. It's basically games based off of the TV specials. They are not original. The games are not original. They're actually based off of the television series. Why can't you make the games original? The only original SpongeBob game has got to be Lights, Camera, Pants, 
Um, what's another original game? That Draw to Life game? Yeah. SpongeBob, Atlantic Square Panthers, terrible game, DS. If you ever picked up this game, don't even pick, bother picking up this game. This game is terrible. Go play a good Nintendo DS game, like New Super Mario Bros., Super Mario 64 DS, Mario Kart DS. Play those good Nintendo DS games. Play those... I mean, in fact, play games meant for the Mario guy himself. It's -a me, Mario. Thank you so much for watching my review on SpongeBob SquarePants and Lincoln SquarePants on the Nintendo DS. Do not buy this game. It's a piece of crap. And I swear, if you buy it, you're going to feel sorry for yourselves. Thanks, Mario, for covering that. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Do not pick up this game. This game sucks. Hope THQ goes out of business. And I'm glad they stopped making SpongeBob games because none of the games are original and they all are not good. Some are good, some are bad, but this game, god awful. 1.5 stars out of 5. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.